Welcome back. This is Gravelstein Gaming. We are back. I was going to say Britannia, but we're actually in the tutorial area about to go into Britannia, but we are in the game Shrouds of the Avatar, episode number two. We finished the tutorial yesterday. thankfully and we are going to try and keep these episodes to 30 minutes so it does not wear out the viewer <laughs> okay if you watch the first video and were able to make it to the end you deserve a trophy of some type but also you will know that we are just about ready to enter into the world of Britannia actually we are ready I was just letting everyone know so we are going to see what our destiny holds for us you can either double click or hit E there we go Very good artwork in the game so far that I've seen. The concept art. I've always been a fan of the, av the Avatar or the uh, Ultima series. I mean, artwork. Here we are. We are at the Battle of Solus Bridge. We're in an adventuring area, and of course, I'm in offline mode. This is offline mode. That's why the load times are quicker. Okay, notice here that we we actually leveled up. I did not notice this, but we leveled up our Searing Ray to level 2. Or rank 2. It says level, but it's actually level 7, but it's rank 2, looks like. The only way out of the valley is to follow the trail away from the Lunar Rift and into the town of Solus Bridge. This looks like uh, the portal, the old Moonstones, if, if anyone that has played the old Ultima games. Uh, some of the pillars have fallen here, or the Standing Stones, these are actually pillars. See, the detail's not bad in the game. I mean, you have to take it with a grain of salt. Some of these textures are really, really bad and dated, but it doesn't bother me. I, th I think the game looks really good where it counts you know so this place isn't safe and the lunar rift isn't functional you should look around for a way to escape we don't have a whole lot of options at the moment blood blotches on the big splatters and pools of blood something has been shot and leads over in this direction. Looks like it's this big old horse. Look at all the flies over it. Okay. Let's see. Remember I was saying to pay attention to those things on the ground? Look here. Arrow. We can just hit E. So now these are unusable. You can usually determine a usable arrow, one that's interactable, compared to these. Just mouse over them, best bet. Now check this out. This was this was something I thought was really interesting, and I thought it was kind of cool. So whenever you go and you click on a corpse, it actually moves the corpse as if you're actually interacting. Such a small, such a small. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Such a small thing, I guess you could say. Uh, just uh, but it adds so much to the playability of the game, to the immersiveness of it. See? And of course teleport to friend. Map of Braemar. This is actually essentially is a different place than I was on my other character. Okay, I'm not going to click anything with my mouse. I'm just going to hit the E button. Boom, got it all. Okay, let's look at that map.
there it is. We're going to use the bottom and look at that old school map right here written you can translate this usually with a manual now that's not the map that we use here's the map that we use and you just hit the M key and it shows you the surrounding terrain but that shows you the layout of this town called Braemar and we are facing north so the layout of the town let's just move this over here for a moment and pin it just just for a moment you know what let's change the size of this one so if we're facing north come on you know what I want to change that option There is a way to unfade those. I'll just minimize them. Okay, so if we're facing north, we're coming from the south side, right? No. Coming from the west. Did I miss anything here? I'm looking at the map. I'm not looking at my surroundings. Let's see if there's anything that I need to click on over here. This is a game of exploration. Okay, we forgot to look at him. Okay, this is okay. Soul Town. That's the larger uh, town that we need to make to, I believe. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Look at the size difference. Not a whole lot of size difference, I guess. This looks larger, though, than this little village. There's quite a few buildings here, though. Anyway, we've got those maps. I can't read them because I don't speak Britannia. Ooh, we can hear the billowing fire. Okay, now normally I would probably be very cautious through here. Map of Ardoris. Red worms. John looks like he's a fisherman. Let's get that arrow out of him. Oh, that's. Poor fella. Rusty mace. Okay. I hear her crying. We hear faint crying from the nearby burning building. Well, let's go. By all means, let's continue looting these instead of helping whoever it is inside the. Okay, what kind of a bridge defender bow? Hey, I think that's a better bow than what we've got. Let's see, damage is 2 to 7, 5%, very low. It's the same thing. But we're going to equip that one anyway. Uh oh. No, that's not what we want. I want that right there. Haha! -ha. Notice we didn't get our arrows back though. Won't you use them? They're used, but do not worry, I have over a thousand arrows on my paladin, so arrows don't seem to be a problem in finding, and you can also make your own later. And there was 
that's 500 right there. There's our rose lane here. Chain mail. We're already doing a lot better in this single player than we did in the online. What's this? Tank water. There we go. This is that's from the well. Make sure there's. Okay, we're going to fill a bucket with water. Just in case we need it. Fire here. I mean, I have no idea if we can put it out or not, but we're going to try. There's a body on the floor nearby. Double click to see if it has any clues. There's a note from Johan. Let's go ahead and take everything and then we can read it in a moment. But let me find that bucket of water. Exactly what I wanted to do, but hey, maybe it'll help me to keep from burning. Sorry, whoever you are upstairs, <laughs> Sir Hobart. I have heard from many coming through the north that undead attacks upon merchant caravans have increased of late. Have your patrols noted any unusual behavior near Silas Bridge? I speak out of concern for my wife and child, whom I would not have put in harm's way. Johan. Okay, we're going to double click that. Actually, we're going to take the item. If you double click, it just reads it. Okay, let's go upstairs here. Oh, it's a, it's a child. Where is mommy? She asked me who I am. Oh no, oh goodness, our house. Help, I'm Charlotte Gray. Who are you? Dernick Falgol. Dernick Faldoran. Are you sure you know your name? Are you lying? I'm scared, Dernick Faldoran. Daddy told me to hide in here, but it's hot. I've tried to be good and wait here, but it's been a long time. Can you help me find my parents? Yes, follow me. Okay, so let's get out of the burning building. Okay, now one thing, you can right click and you can tell them to stay here. You can tell them to follow, follow close, follow near, follow far. You can set their disposition. There's also, we'll have her just follow normally. Zoom out just a little, it's a little close for me. You can also, Right here, there's a whistle. You can also use this whistle if you get separated from NPC. From what I understand, anytime you have to do an escort where someone is following you and you have the ability to control them, you have a whistle that will allow them to be summoned to your side. So I think that's also reminiscent of the old the old games. I think they had that. Get these arrows shooting a lot of arrows. Rusty two-handed sword. Sorry, looted him. No, we did not. Potion of focus. Focus is mana. Okay, let's go ahead and increase. That's a buff that lasts for 11 minutes and 17, well, 11 minutes. And of course, stillness. See there? If you're still, you have less glyphic cost and a better chance to critical with spells. So I thought that was uh, pretty cool for a mage or a magic user of any type, cleric. Now, of course, I'm using the classic classes nomenclature, but. But as I stated before, there's there are no classes in the game. Okay, so what we're going to do? We're going to look around here and make sure there's no undead in the immediate vicinity. I'm going to tell her to stay here while I run inside this building. Walk up to 
this crate, kick the snot out of it, take the stuff inside. Die barrel. Judo chomp. Nope, no, nope, judo chomp won't work. I guess gotta do a dexterity kit. Okay. Not all crates and barrels can be interacted with. There's a lot of here. Map of Braymore. We've got a lot of maps this go around. So that's that's really cool. I'm not sure. We better go to the back to the top here. Let's see, there's a map, map, map. Okay. We want to use that item. By the way, if you right click on something you don't want to do anything, you can't get rid of it, just right click anywhere else and get rid of it. Okay, now right here, I want to get upstairs and just jump up there. Another map, goodness. I have no idea if those maps are useful or not. But uh, I believe they sell. And iron ore, metal scrap. Of course, you've noticed, I'm sure already, that when I mouse over something that cannot be interacted with, it stays the white color. But when you do mouse over something that can be interacted with, it switches to the green. Okay, we're about 17 minutes in. We can go a little further. Nothing else in that house. Follow. Uh oh. See how they lay there? Okay, we need to. Yeah, there we go. The undead will play possum. Oh, possum, what are you doing? So you have to be. You can still select them and hit them while they're down. I see over there a woken zombie. Of course she's gonna go over there and help. It's always good to have the help of a child to be the meat shield. I plan on buying me a couple when I get to the next town if they have any for sale. I'm too far away. Of course, we've hobbled him. I really need to... Yeah, let me... See, I have arrows and brace down here, so I don't need it. Okay. We'll have to edit that. Modify the deck. I'm going to clear it. I've got that where I want it. This one I want right here. There we go. Done. And did you notice you can also, I guess this is for later, you can use current equipment and it will link it whatever you've got right now equipped, it'll link it to this deck, which will come in handy later when you have specific specific gear that you want to use for a specific build, like for tanking versus DPS, you know, what have you. Anyway, we're going to clear the equipment and be done. And it looks like I'm encumbered. Top right corner, you are encumbered. So we're minus one dexterity. So something is weighting us down by all these maps. Looks like our arrows, five pounds, quiver of arrows, five. But that's okay. It's a very little encumbrance. We're still able to move pretty well. We're going to grab the shield too while we're at it. Most of that stuff will. Okay, most of that stuff can be 
sold or broken down for materials from what I've seen. And we just keep adding more. More and more weight. And of course as you level I think you gain strength. I only have a strength of 12 at the moment. Not really sure if that's... Okay. Hobble them or disable them. Finish them. There we go. Okay. Got another one over here. I shouldn't have disabled him. Ooh, I leveled up my range combat. I forgot to hit my dodge again. I've got to learn to do that. I'm just not used to playing. Uh, we can use these ladders, and I'll use one here just to show you. There's nothing up there, I don't believe. But I'm not really sure. We'll just keep going to the top and see. Okay. Not just a good view. So we'll head back down. She doesn't show the animation of crawling up the ladder, but I'm okay with that. We don't need a useless animation to get from point A to point B. I understand what climbing a ladder looks like. It's been a while, but you'll need a key to unlock the gate switch. Double click the deck guard to see if he has one. Also, you should arm yourself with your best weapon before opening the gate. Hmm, I have a premonition. Okay, we got a letter from Emily to Quincy. And we've got the Solus Bridgegate key, Quincy's broken sword, they're in the yellow font. So that means that they are a quest item. And also it says quest item. Which is a dead giveaway. That's a quest item. When it says quest item. Okay, this is the Johan to Hobart. I don't think we read this, did we? Oh, I'm in combat. Can't read while I'm in combat. Look! He opens up the letter and he's reading a letter. I like that. I like that, Johnny. I'm going to use that. Sir Hobart, I have heard from many coming through the north that undead attacks. Oh, we read this. Have your patrols noticed any unusual behavior? Yes, we read this one from Johan to Hobart, but not from Johan. All guard to whomever finds this. This is the one I picked up off of him in the house where I found Charlotte. I guess that's her father. When I did attack, I am no fighter. I know I cannot hold them off. I sent Abigail ahead to Sultan while I looked for Charlotte. I hope I can find her before the worst happens. So he did, and Abigail is Charlotte's mother, and she is in the town further ahead we found the map for. Letter from Emily to Quincy. Okay, Hobart to Zorabeth. My dearest Zorabeth, I fear that this will be my final words to you, my darling. Oh, how I wish I could deliver them to you directly. What began as a mundane assignment has turned dark. Darker than I wish to share with you. But the enemy is more deadly than we could have ever believed, and even the strongest of us stands little chance of survival. Most of the men have fought valiantly, braving that which all men fear. All but Marcus, who fled the front in terror, dying a coward's death when the hordes he tried so hard to escape descended on him. Excuse me. I only hope that the young girl he grew to love during his time stationed here never learns of his fate. I fear it would break her heart if she were to find out the truth. All my love, sweet darling, I have always and will always love you, Hobart. Oh, Hobart. Rest in peace, Hobart. Dear Quincy, my love, I hope you're able to take leave off your duty soon. How many people do they need watching that silly bridge anyway? Nothing ever happens there. I am staying in Sultan this month. 
while waiting for Uncle Oren's caravan from Graf Island. Do come see me, won't you? It's not that far, and surely they can understand if you take a day or three off from the watch. I miss you horribly and hope you come back to me soon. Hugs and kisses, Emily. Or is that kisses and hugs? Big kiss, little kiss. X's and O's, whatever. Okay, we've got the key. We're over in number. We're ready. Oh, Edvar, the Wanderer. Greetings, friend. I'm Edvar, a bard of some renown. I wish our meeting, first meeting was during the better circumstances, but alas, it's quite dire. I see you found a bow. That will certainly come in handy in a few moments. I could use your help crossing this undead infested bridge. Are you ready to cross the bridge? Yes, let's cross the bridge. He gave me an arrow. More arrows. And Edvard is the type of NPC that everybody loves to hate. He runs off ahead. He does not care where you're at if you have to loot any of that. Unlike Charlotte, who will follow me and let me go at my own pace and stay behind while I guard her and protect her. Edvard, look at him. He runs ahead. Well done, Edvard. Keep running. There you go. Good job, Edvard. My goodness, he's got 12,000 hit points. I don't think we have anything to worry about concerning Edvard at the moment. Some of these sacks are interactable, so... Okay, and this guy, yep. We are really encumbered now. We are at almost 30% movement. Oh. Great. Um, reduction, so. The one person in this village that does not need my help is 12k hit point Edvard. He, he needs to help me. Across the bridge. I tell you what, I have already found like four or five pair of chain boots. I had to buy them, my mother guy. No, Edvard's down five hit points. Whew. Close battle, Edvard. Hey, I got a cloak right off the bat, man going on look at all look at all this stuff holy moly man it's crazy yeah I keep running I can't I can't wear it oh it's one durability oh, maybe I can repair it see ya <laughs> I wonder I'm down to almost half movement speed Okay, 14,000 experience, yay. Okay, and he's going to take Charlotte with him to Abigail. And of course he's telling me that many people need my help in the coming days. And for now he has a boat for me and I just have to take the boat, use the boat to go to the next area. And that's what we will do, and that will make it to the next area and be able to stop the stream. And I'll be able to fulfill my promise of keeping it to a 30 minute video. Well, it depends on whether or not it loads quick enough. Actually, we're going to stop right here before we speak with this. We have just discovered. the outskirts, uh, Solus Bridge outskirts. So we will end the stream right here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We had try to keep the talking 
to a minimum the playing at least more playing than talking we talked while we played but this game is enjoyable and let me know what you think talk to you later good luck and have fun and thank you so much for watching if you liked it please give the video a like and if you want to see more just subscribe appreciate it